Back in the 70s and 80s, we used to see lots. And then suddenly, about 20 years ago, they disappeared from the radar altogether. I guess one of the nice things about the species is um, the way they breed in that they yeah, do build a little nest to lay their eggs in and it's the male that looks after the eggs. So one of the important things for freshwater catfish breeding is uh, water quality and flow. If they don't have this, the eggs can become susceptible to algae. This particular area has a lovely mishmash of, of creeks. I came to the Riverland some 40 odd years ago. Once we used to be able to uh, canoe through all those uh, wonderful small creeks and uh, that made uh, bird watching and so on absolutely fantastic. Uh, and also, of course, we wouldn't fail to come home without a good, good feed of uh, edible fish site was identified as being high value for native fish species. It does have such an amazing range of um, different habitats such as areas that do have um, large woody debris and also submerged aquatic vegetation which is suitable habitat for species like the freshwater catfish. And the lack of flood events is one of the reasons the species has become uh, so endangered. When we had flows, high flows in the river every two or three years, the whole floodplain area was kept in pristine order. Large numbers of people come up here doing canoeing and, and fishing of course. What we're looking to do with this uh, Catfish Reach project is to use engineering solutions to try and replicate that natural flooding. We will then get back to where we had these ideal conditions and things like fish breeding is just going to uh, come back to where it used to be. A number of larger structures are being upgraded um, to improve flow and water quality into the system and also to create fish passage for movement of larger native bodied species such as freshwater catfish and golden perch and Murray cod. We used to see lots of catfish. Wherever we went there were catfish and we thought we'd lost the species but they've suddenly started to reappear again. The locals are passionate and we reckon that with with this demonstration reach we'll get that breeding cycle going and we'll get our own natural hatchery here.